Hello, this is Shushmita Shama from Bani B, and today it is going to be speaking lesson 19, as you can see, and our topic is verb conjugation. So we know there are different kinds of verbs, and those are formed in different ways. Uh, so I'm going to have several classes on that. Today is the first class on it, and it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, mainly based on um, simple present tense, we are going to learn how to talk about our habits, our daily activities, and it's going to be really, really simple. Trust me. All you have to do is watch this video, the entire video, and everything will be clear. Okay. Uh, so this is table of contents, um, section one. Will focus on pronouns. You uh, learned most of the pronouns in the previous classes, so we are going to do a review on that on section one. After that, uh, we will learn a few more verbs in section two, and section three is going to combine the knowledge of section one and section two. So we are going to make sentences using the pronouns and the verbs. And in section four, we will have homework. Let's begin. So this is our pronoun chart. It might look a little bit overwhelming at first. Here are the pronouns. It is a big list, and you might get overwhelmed. Um, so let me make it a little shorter for you to uh, keep it easy and simple. Let me read the pronouns one by one. The first one is Ami, which means I. Amra means we. Apni, it's you, and this you is the formal singular plural. So in English, if you say you, it might mean that you are talking to one person. Or you are talking to a few people and you are using the word you, but here when you are talking to a single person, you are going to use apni, and people will clearly understand that you are talking to someone, only one. You are talking to one person. Tumi is also singular, but this one is. Informal singular. So the previous one, apni, is uh, used in a in an official setting, and this is more professional and respectful because it is formal. And tumi is used for someone um, with whom you are very close. Uh, maybe it's, this person is your family member or friend, and you can use the word tumi with that person. So apni. Is like the German Z and Tumi is like Tu. Tui is a risky one uh, because this is the most informal singular. So I will ask you to avoid this one, just to avoid the unnecessary risk. Uh, people might get offended uh, if you do not use it correctly. So just forget this word, okay? Mm. Then apnara. This is the formal plural form for you. Okay, so this word is the informal plural version of you. That is tomra dental ta. You are going to use it with those people who you are very comfortable with and close with. Next word is tora. Again, dental ta and the forbidden word because it's painted in yellow, and you know that this is the most informal plural version of you, and just do not use it, please. Uh, tini. Tini is uh, the Bangla word for both she and he, and this is a formal version of she and he. So some of you who are new to today's class, you might uh, think that there are two words in English, but you are giving me one word only, uh, because 
our Bangla language, it uh, the pronouns we use, uh, these are really gender neutral. So we have one word for both man and woman. So even when we, we mean she, we use tini. Even if you uh, mean uh, he, we will use the same word tini. And this is the formal version of she or he. Now the informal one of the informal version of she or he. Uh, this is the informal singular one and you are going to pronounce it as she. This spelling might look tricky because just after this she I have written the English word she but this one is the English word so it is pronounced as she but this one is the just the transliteration of the Bangla word she and that is the informal singular version of she or he. Tara. This little thing on the top of dental ta is the nasalization, nasalization mark and it will be pronounced as Tara because of this half moon it is going to be pronounced as Tara and it is the formal version of they. This is the informal version of they and it will be pronounced as Tara. There is no nasalization mark here. That's why it's the informal version of they. Okay. Now a quick tip. I already told that but again Bengali pronounce are gender neutral. Uh, that's why for both she and he, we have only one word, tini, that's the formal version. And if you want to talk in a in an informal way, then you will use she instead of tini. So no matter if you are using the formal version or informal version, you are going to use only one word for both man and woman. Okay, because gender neutral. Section 2. Section 2, it's all about verbs and more specifically type 1 verb because there are different types of verbs. Today we are going to talk about the type 1 verb only and how these type 1 verbs are used in the sim simple present structures. That means we are going to focus on present not on past or not on future and also more specifically when we will talk about present we will actually uh, talk about our habits how we do certain things regularly on a regular basis how we do things so we will learn how to say that uh, this is a type 1 verbs list and I'm not gonna pronounce or I'm not gonna read the entire chart I will give you this chart in our Facebook group okay so let's move on here's an important clue for you guys our type 1 verb starts with a sound or o sound okay uh, I'll give you an example so it talks about the beginning how the type 1 verb starts with what kind of vowel it starts with and it ends with a, a sound. Okay, here. Look. Bola. See? With the a sound. This is the first vowel. So the first um, letter is a consonant. And after that, the first vowel is a. This is the indication that it's the type 1 verb. And the ending is a sound. Okay, so starts with a and ends with a. This is the indication that this is type 1 verb. And another, this is also considered as type 1 verb, that is ha. So you see, okay, I should write double A here. Hush. So this is the vowel here is a. So this verb starts with a sound and ends with a sound. That means type 1 verb might start with O or A sound, starts with A sound or O sound and always ends with A sound, right? So now we know 
what we mean by type 1 pumps okay now section 3 how to make sentences now we will see how these verbs get changed with different pronouns so when we look at the base form of type 1 verb Paula means to speak or to say uh, we know that the structure is either it will start with O sound or A sound and will always end with A sound right okay and the next verb is a hasha and we can clearly see it starts with A vowel okay and ends with A vowel and it means to laugh or to smile so both for laughing and smiling we have the same verb but how to express if it's smiling or laughing uh, we add a few more words or detail with that to um, express if that person is laughing or smiling but for now just memorize that hasha means to laugh or to smile it's important to have a quick look at the root of this verb this type 1 verb see it ends with a consonant so it's hush see um, then we ha um, this base form it has the I ending but if we just uh, split this I ending from the previous uh, part then we will find the consonant here so that is hush and if we do that with the another verb uh, with another verb that is bola then it will be bol a right uh, it's important to split bangla verbs like that because this ending will keep changing and it will depend which pronoun you will use this verb with so so when the base word hasha uh, is being attached with ami or amra that means with i or ui when uh, hasha is being attached it's becoming hashi so instead of that i ending here it is taking this e sound the e ending noticed it so ami hashi that means i love amra hashi that is we love so e okay with ami and amra this is a good news that with uh, this singular and plural with both of this i and with both this i and we it will take the same e ending with apni and apnara so with eu it will take the form hashen so when you are using the formal singular form of you or formal plural form of you then it will be hashen that is apni hashen you love apnara hashen you love both are for formal when it becomes informal it will be tumi hasho that is you love you singular tomra hasho you love that is informal plural and uh, forbidden word tui with this one is ish tui hashish tora hashish with the most informal singular and with the most informal plural it's the same so this is a good thing that for any any person uh, with both numbers it is taking the same ending tini now tini this uh, formal singular form of he or she tini hashen tara hashen tini hashen means he laughs or she laughs tara ha tara hashen means they laugh or yeah they laugh uh, then she she hashe is he laughs or she laughs 
tara hashe without the nasalization it means they laugh so this time what is the change uh, the n is missing right so when we want to show honor we use the n uh, in the end but when we become very close we get rid of the n see tip of the day is when you honor someone you add an n at the end of the verb like hashe becomes hashen so bola will be bolen time for homework okay now let's have a look at today's homework the first one is an english sentence they speak and this they will be formal day so make it bangla next one is who speak number 3 is a bangla sentence so you will have to translate this into english she hashe number 4 tumi bolo okay so these are four sentences if you want to do more practice then uh to keep practicing you can join the facebook group called learn bengali with pani b and if you want to check quick tips then you can follow our instagram page called learn bengali with pani b and i'm pretty sure that you are watching this video on youtube so you definitely know about our youtube channel and if you you are quite new here this is your first time in my channel then please please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to use the facebook platform and instagram platform if you want to uh ask me a quick question if you have any kind of queries regarding our bangla culture bangla language then please feel free to shoot me message on facebook or instagram and please don't forget to check the description box below you will find some useful links